So we have an epic one today for you guys. So in the middle of Japan, in the mountains by the way, we're surrounded in the mountains. There's no one else around here. It's amazing. Lies an abandoned Wild West theme park. Think about it. A Wild West theme park in the mountains of Japan. That's epic. So pretty much in 1970, a family started a ranch. The ranch gained so much attraction, was getting so much money, they kept expanding it and expanding it, growing it and growing it. It got so much bigger that in 1995 was their last installment. It was a $25 million replica of Mount Rushmore. But, but because we are in the mountains of Japan, not many people were coming over time. It kept scaling down. Less people were coming. People didn't want to go all the way in the mountains to see this place. That in 2007, the place actually closed for good. This place was amazing. I love this place. But that's what happens if you're in a bad area. Less business. We gotta go check this place out. Look at this. This was all mechanical. A lot of money was spent here, and it sucks that this has to go to waste. The U.S. mail. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in America. So, just looking at this place, you can see that they put a lot of work into this to create a replica of just the Wild West. Right here is what they would have a live show. Check it out. There's a sheriff's office. Oh, dude, they have a real jail in here. It's a little bit dark. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Dude, that is so freaky. He is just chilling there. Let's zoom up in on him. Damn, he really does look real. Got some books on the shelves. It's amazing that this ain't actually vandalized. Flapjack's oat cookies. Western Village Bank. This is so awesome. Look at, we got the gold bars in there. Uh. Hello there. I got some gold bars for you. I love this. Billy the Kid. He's one, he was one of the most famous outlaws in the world. Everybody seems to know about him. What the heck is going on here? This guy just ripped out his teeth and his literally blood on him. We gotta go inside this building. What we think it is, this is a haunted uh, spook trail attraction, pretty much. Um, I think we go this way. Alright, we're in the haunted spook trail here. Welcome to Ghost Town. What the fuck is this thing? What? Looks like something you would see from Resident Evil or something. Those mutant monsters and stuff. God. What kind of sick game is this? What? What the heck? It's a crazy Indian girl. Hey, look at, look at, look at. She has the yeah, the tomahawks in her hand. If this guy looks like he moves. Dude, why is his pants down? <laughs> I just noticed that. Hang on, everybody. Look at this. Yeah. See, look at. Someone put his pants down. Unless this was actually part of the attraction. Oh, I missed this. What? Oh my god. Look at his food. Look at the scorpions on his food. <laughs> We're in the post office. Looking like a nice man right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Wild West jacket. Ah, oh, the barber shop. Man, these just robotic mannequins are unbelievable. They're shame. Seems to be no writing in this one or signs, so I don't know what this place is. We're gonna go in. Never mind, after investigating, we found this is all part of the pho photography shop. Um, this is the area where you would pay for it and get your borders you would put in the back. Um, here, here's the prices as well. So it'd be fifteen dollars in U.S. money, and then this is uh, twenty-five dollars U.S. money. But I don't, ex I can't read it, so I don't know what it's really for. Maybe adults is the bottom, kids are on top. I don't know for uh, those prices. But you can, here are some of the props for your pictures. You have two toy guns right there. 
We're gonna cross over. What's awesome is that all the clothing is still here that you used for to take the pictures. Here's the background. Here's how some of the picture frames would look. The Western Village old fashioned photograph. You'd open it up and there's your picture. Oh, the top of this building's collapsing. And there's a dead guy right there. I don't know what's in there though. Oh. Oh my god, dude, we're in a bar. A saloon, eh? Yeah. Well, let me put my flashlight on again. So far, this is my favorite place. Not because of the bar, but the way they set it up. It's so nice. Got the beers, the whiskeys. My homie right here, I'm gonna call him Jay. Hey, yo, Jay! Yo, Jay! <laughs> oh man, I love Japan. The best abandoned places are in Japan, I swear. Some old props, spider webs. Dude, some big shoes. Wow. Nice clock. We got the deer head. Hopefully it's safe to walk on. Man, I weigh a lot, so I'm gonna stay down there. <laughs> Whoa, dude, they have a whole bedroom up here. I could I could have slept here tonight. Didn't have to pay for a hostel. When the place first opened up, it was $25 to enter. When they started losing business, they dropped the price to $15. Also, what's, what else is cool is that they actually hired people to dress up as cowboys and just walk the streets and do duels and stuff. Dude, it looks like they're, uh, what the hell? <laughs> he looks scary, man. It looks like I thought the raccoon beat him up. The hell? Real fur? It smells like real fur. Damn. This cowboy looks like it's supposed to be the sheriff. I've read online that they're supposed to have a full blown arcade here, and I guess they still do. The whack a moles, damn, these are worth some money. Oh, whoa, dude! Oh my god, western gun shooting. Look at this. Oh, this is definitely my favorite. <laughs> that looks so cool. Like an ancient lucky slot. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, so I'm open up the prizes. Win you the pool prize. You can get a fresh watch. Rolex. <laughs> Rolexes yeah. This is unbelievable, though, how all this is just left here. Lethal enforcers. Sell those virtual cops. They used to sell those. I love arcades. In America, you definitely won't find arcades looking like this that are abandoned. 100% sure. It's like race horses. What I really like is this though, the Wild West gun shooting game. I'm about to walk over there and see some of them. So for all of you who don't know what the Western gun shooting is, is there's a whole bunch of guns that would be lined up with sensors on all these guys and you would try to shoot the sensors, and everything here is actually supposed to move. I played a bunch of these before. They're actually a dollar to play. They're pretty expensive, or more. All the bottles would uh, lay down if you shoot them. Uh, this guy would probably drop down, although he's being hung right now. I don't know if she's supposed to be there, but that looks cool. Look at these, man. We have people playing card games. At night, I bet everything moves and talks. It's all alive. Guy playing the piano. I, I love this place. Right now we're walking to an old restaurant and they call it the Chunk Wagon. It's probably the biggest restaurant here, that's for sure. Look at this. First thing I noticed when I walked in was this. Damn. Awesome. What I like about this and how you can tell um, our restaurants are different compared to Japanese restaurants or even any other country is because right here is where they would have like open fire and everything for you to cook your own food right onto it. Um, like hot pot, Korean barbecue, all that stuff. Noodles. <laughs> Some kind of shooting game? Get your blasters ready. <laughs> I guess you're aiming at some, some kind of targets down there. Uh, bam, bam. So I found a buffalo at Buffalo Stadium. What do you know? So they definitely did live performances here at the Buffalo Stadium. Um, the Buffalo look like it looks like it's on wheels, so I wonder if it actually did some cool things. The Western Village Church right here was actually imported from California. Let's go. Welcome, Shane. You must have been watching some type of show here. Uh, the seats were only right here in this one area, not on the left side, so you're watching something. The general store right now. Uh, Get your maps here. Bunch of different maps, yeah. yeah we'll Look at the whole United States map. <clears throat> American Indian tribes. Jelly Belly, but guess what? Something I've never seen before, nor have Shane, in abandoned places. This is stacked with different flavors of jelly beans. I wonder how, dude, I'm tempted to ch taste the blue one, but then I'll probably get sick. Look how bad it is. It's like eroded at top, and then all, this, all the flavors and smell uh, is crushed. <laughs> the only one that looks pristine is orange. I don't trust it. This is this is so cool though. You got 40 true to life fun flavors. Really? The flavors? Oh, here are the flavors. Okay. Dude, the strawberry cheesecake. Chocolate pudding. <laughs> Cappuccino jelly belly. All these flavors are right here. They all have gone to waste. We just want a map of the whole place. 
All I know is that this place is here. This is what we've been walking around. The top half is all demolished. It's this, this, and this. As far as I know, I'm going to walk over here now and see if this is still here. Hopefully it is. Here's the bridge we're taking to cross over. Let's just hope um, that part is still left. This is... This is cool. <laughs> it's so weird seeing this huge building right here. And if you look at the front entrance, it looks all boarded up, but it looks like haunted. What the hell is blocking it? Did someone put two bags? God <laughs> damn! <laughs> what the hell is going on here? We're like walking under a big mountain. Oh, what? Dude, it's, it's Mount Rushmore. They said this was destroyed. We're so up close to it, we can't get a shot. We gotta, we gotta go more down there. I cannot believe everyone. We are looking at Mount Rushmore in the middle of Japan. <laughs> I love this. Just found a way inside of the Mount Rushmore building. It looks already crazy. That's where the, we found those beers. I gotta get my flashlight out. I don't have my flashlight from America. It's a very good flashlight. I wish I brought it here, but oh well. What kind of sick game is this? Well, we have giant bears everywhere. That's what I want to know. Hey, look at this. This is the real pictures of Mount Rushmore from America. Mm. Is it? Because that looks fake. That looks like it's here when they're building it. I don't know, that man. Right there. Yeah, see? The real picture is of Mount Rushmore. This is for the kids to play in. Yeah, these these uh, floors are shaking. Hey, a ball pit for the kids. Oh, oh my god! A giant teddy bear. Dude, that is like 30 feet tall if it would stand up. I think water. Look how long these stairs go up. That's how you get up to the mountains of Mount Rushmore. Just found three kids randomly exploring with us. They don't even know what I'm saying, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> this is awesome. They're, they're with us now. They're exploring with us. This was the big bear's hat. I mean, I can't get over how big he is. Anyways, we're all going upstairs. Even the three kids are coming with us. This is epic. We're gonna take care of them today. I remember when I was that age. Those were the days. It's funny because the kids don't understand um, what they're, what's going on here. They can't read any of these signs. Beat the gang. But they don't even understand that. I mean, there's nothing here though, anyways. <laughs> We're all on the top floor now. Here you go. Dude! Oh my god! This is like a night at the museum. Hey, some more pictures you can take here. I think that's Arizona. <clears throat> Oh, you found something? What's up, man? Oh. oh, snap. Thanks, man. So this... Oh, it's so hot in here. This is, this is the inside of Mount Rushmore. Hey, be careful. Yeah, I'm not going to go in there. It's not, it's not that safe. Just came back down from the top floor, and now we're just uh, exploring this part. <laughs> These are our new friends. Uh, names? Toya. Toya? Toya? Toya. Riku. Niku? Riku. Riku? Riku? Riku. Riku. Oh, I can't say it. Riku? I can't say yours. Ayumu. Ayumu? Ayumu. Ayumu? Ayumu. Alright, I'm, I'm getting it. I need to learn Japanese. Need to learn it. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is funny. Yeah. These are our friends. Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> it's so weird seeing. We're, I mean, these bears. It's like they're worshipped here. 
And we have swing sets for them. Giant swing sets. In about four hours here, it was a great video, a great day in general, just to be inside of a Wild West theme park in Japan. Seen Mount Rushmore in Japan, which makes no sense, but I love it. A great theme park, by the way. It sucks that, you know, it had to end the way they did. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like this video, check out my other videos on my channel. There's pretty much similar to this, all abandoned stuff, as well as my everyday vlogging life. Um, also, follow my Twitter and my Instagram if you want to see all my cool pictures that I took here. And yeah, see ya.